Hello, everyone, and welcome to Live Repurpose Live, where we help you to rethink your priorities to create a life that you truly love. My name is Lisa Figgins, and it's my mission to help after 40 women like you to rethink your priorities in seven key areas so you can find where to put your focus to create more balance, more growth, and more impact. And it's my intention each and every week to introduce you to an amazing woman who can also inspire and help you on that journey. So today I'm excited to introduce you to my friend Pavan Beltman. She's a high performance coach and she helps busy women who want less stress, have more energy and a bolder life. Anyone, right? What I love about Pavan's approach is that it's holistic and it's built on the belief that your physical, your mental and your spiritual well-being is the key. And so today she's going to be sharing with us how doing a little bit of spring cleaning can give you less stress, more health, and more energy, which I think we all need right now. So Pavan, thank you so much for being here today. Let's start, let's start by getting to know you a little bit. Tell us a little bit about where you live, uh, what you do, and kind of your journey to getting to this place where you're helping others with, this, with these things. Well, hi, Lisa. Thank you so much for inviting me, first of all. Um, well, let's see, I've lived all over the place and I actually started um, my career uh, in film and television. And, um, and then I, I went on a vacation in Europe, horseback riding and uh -oh, met someone. Was... Yes, mm. I, the, the one man in the group and I married a Dutchman. And oh, wow. uh, I've been, <laughs> yeah, so I moved here to the Netherlands and I've been living here gosh, for the past 24 years or so. Who knew, and right? A vacation could change your life like that. Crazy, right? <laughs> and um, well, what happened was when I came here, I decided I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. Uh, stay mm -hmm. And I turned 40 and I was not well. I, I'd always eaten really healthy, especially like, you know, being from LA and, you know, I always, ate, I didn't eat junk food, nothing like that, but still I was like putting on weight and I was eating less and less and oh my God, but I was like really stressed out about it. And, you know, imagining I'm going to just turn into this balloon. And I ended up watching this movie called Supersize Me. And I don't know if you remember yeah. that, you know, this guy who ate McDonald's and at the very, very end, um, his girlfriend put him on a detox diet. And I had never heard of detoxing. I don't think pretty much anyone had at the time. It wasn't the fad that it is now. So I was like, hmm, let me try that. So I went and did a whole bunch of research. How do I do this? And I did a detox for three weeks, a holistic detox. So not just the food, but also just like the meditation and the movement. And after less than two weeks, people actually started stopping me in the street and saying, oh my God, what happened to you? Even like people I barely knew, they're like, you look amazing. What's, what, what have you done? What have you done? Tell me, tell me. And wow. um, yeah. And so I was like, oh, you know, it's easy. You just do this and this and this. I'm like, can't you just write it down for me? <laughs> so I ended up uh, writing a book about it. And that one thing led to another. And now I coach people and help them to, yeah. Because wow. it, it, not only did you lose weight, um, I just, I looked better. I had more energy. I never got sick anymore. It was just a whole, whole, my whole life changed really. Yeah. It's almost like this new normal that you didn't even know was possible, right? I think so many people are living on the other side full of toxins. And I love how you talk about physical as well as mental, as well as spiritual. And it, that's what we start thinking is normal. And we don't even know the life that we could be missing, missing out on. So just curious for your, you know, your own personal experience, you, you said you did that. How long did you do that initial one for, or has this just become a lifestyle of just, you know, once okay. you started, you've never stopped. Oh gosh, no, no. Um, I did it for three weeks because okay. that's really all you need. Okay. And really what happened was, um, some of my habits actually changed because I had done it for three weeks, mm. but after the three weeks, you know, I went back to, you know, still eating healthy, which I always did anyway, but eating more normally, um, except for things that I didn't care for anymore. Right. And um, I actually kept losing weight until 
my body was at its normal, what it was supposed mm. to be. It was really weird. It was like my body had been completely reset and it was working normally. And so it just was like, okay, down on down. And then when it was at the right weight, it stopped and it, it was great. Yeah. And, you know, I tried to do it once a year, just, you know, okay. to. Yeah. Now, I think when people hear detox, they think scary, they think, and I don't know. So this is where I'm curious. I'm going to mm -hmm. say what I hear people say is detox. Is that that thing where you like live on like water with maple syrup, cayenne pepper and lemon juice for like, you know, three weeks, seriously. Cause some people are like, I couldn't even do that for a day, let alone three weeks. Right. So what, like, can you tell us a little bit without giving everything yeah. away, but what yeah. kinds of things does a detox actually involve just so we know what right. that process looks like? Yeah, no, no, the horror, you know, the thing is I'd never done a a diet in my entire life. I thought diets were stupid and I still do actually. <laughs> and I'm a foodie and I love to cook. So I was like, if I have to suffer or starve or anything like this, I am doing it. Right. Um, but actually it's an Ayurvedic, what I did anyway, was an Ayurvedic detox. So there were, it was like sort of a list. It's like, okay, you can have these ingredients and you need to avoid these ingredients but everything I, I, I didn't have to count calories or starve and, okay. and everything I ate was delicious. So like, I'll give you an example. Um, okay. The most painful <laughs> is you can't have coffee, but you can have green tea or okay. um, you, you can't have beef and pork, but you can have chicken and fish. Well, mm. that's, I like that right. anyway. Or um, you can't have, um, white rice but you can have brown rice mm -hmm. you can have bread but you can have rice cakes you know there's sure, there's sure. there's always a tasty alternative yes. and you can make really delicious stuff and yes. and just yeah and no sugar but you can have honey okay. and you can have the occasional piece of chocolate so you know you don't have to like just suffer right? suffer right <laughs> So it's interesting because I remember hearing this years ago. I even remember where I was driving. I heard this on the radio. They said that there was a 90, it increases your chances of success. And they're specifically talking about like diets and things like that. If instead of saying, I can't have this because that feels right, restrictive, like someone else has control, like, you know, this is being done to me, right? And whenever we have those things, we, we naturally want to like fight back, right? But the whole shift was instead of saying, I can't have this, I choose to have this. Right. Mm -hmm. And so like looking then at that list of those things that you are including and say, not focusing on what I can't, right. Cause now we're focusing on the lack, but we're looking at that thing. That's actually probably going to add more nutrition, uh, you know, and it's easier for our system and things like that. And, and this is a choice I'm making because of the result that this is going to bring that I want. Right. Yeah. I love, I love that. And so when you talk about like the mental part of it, is that a piece that comes in? Like, how does the, how does the mental detoxing happen? Oh, the mental detoxing, that's also, that's, that's actually um, a few things. So say that you fall off the wagon. You are absolutely not allowed to feel guilty about that because mm. guilt is like yes. actually really, really toxic to your system. You know, your thoughts, your emotions, if they are negative, they actually affect your body. So, um, and, and the thing, you know, you think, oh, oh, well, and if, if it gets hard, I always say, hey, tell yourself it's only three weeks. What is three weeks out of your whole life? It's like a little drop of water in the ocean, you know? Right. And um, the other thing is stress. Stress is mm -hmm. just actually mm -hmm. the worst toxin for your body. It releases cortisol and all kinds of other nasty hormones that actually um, stop your body from doing anything at all except either you know run or or free, place, or right? high, exactly yes. and and so you know you're no longer digesting properly you're no longer thinking clearly it's it's just mm -hmm. um so so i incorporate into my detoxes um things that actually relieve your stress like mm -hmm. meditation like walks you know time for yourself it's it's yeah it, I think it's really important. It's so, so interesting because I think so often my audience is that after 40 women. So we think about how busy our life is because either we still have some kids at home or they're, they're leaving the nest, or maybe we have grandkids and maybe we have a business or a career. We, you know, have a significant other, we're thinking about this next stage of life. And, and it's so easy to get caught up in all the things and then make, say, I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't have energy to take care of myself. 
Exactly. And yeah. And then we're in this chronic, this chronic stress that never goes away. Like, like you said, our body was created to, to, to be stressed, but not for a long period of time, like to do it in the moment when you need to, you know, get out of there, when you need to like grab your kid before, you know, they run across the street when those things, but not this, this, you know, ongoing, there's never a break because that's so much on the body. Right. Exactly. And it's like, I think, especially women, our age, you know, our moms, (laughs) At least my mom, my mom was just a stay at home mom. And you know, that all she had to worry about was taking care of us and, you know, making meals. And, but we were like, okay, we're liberated women, you know, so we're going to be moms and we're going to take care of the house and we're going to, you know, bring home the bacon and, you know, but it's like, it's too much. It's, it's just, right. it's more than any human can, can do. And we're like, so focused on like, not only doing that, but like doing it perfectly because we have to prove that we can do it. And, it's so, so stressful. And you really, you need to find, you don't have to give it up, but you need to find the places where you can um, Mm. take shortcuts, cut corners, you know, do I really need to do that? Do I really need to see that person, you know, find your boundaries so that you can just stay healthy and have the energy to have that life that you want. Right. Cause if you're not, you're no good use to anyone, right. You want to be super mom, but if you are totally stressed out and full of all this toxic stuff, thoughts, you know, as well as physical, your family is not getting a very good version of you. So no. I, I find that is off, off, I, I say that's the selfish choice, right. Is to just keep going and not pause and pay attention to your body. So let's talk about this, right. Someone may be listening right now and going, Okay. So I'm kind of like understanding this concept of what detoxing is about. And I have, you know, maybe it's not the scary thing I thought that it was going to be. So I'm a little intrigued, but maybe she's asking herself right now, like, like, is this something that I should do? Like, is this for me? So like, who do you say that this kind of a detox is for? Well, gosh, I've, I've had all kinds of clients, men and women. I mean, it's think about it this way. If you are if you're feeling tired, all, like waking up feeling tired all the time, if um, you catch every flu and cold that comes your way, if, you know, maybe you get headaches a lot, or you have achy joints, or you're, you're having uh, super mood swings, or, you know, in the 40s, you know, you're starting to get all those menopause and perimenopause symptoms, um, this is like a really, really, really good thing to do. You know, the first time I did it, I was starting to get menopause and um, I was starting to get the hot flashes and I did this, it all went away and did not come back until I was like 48. And I did this when I was 40. So, I mean, it really clears out everything and gives you so much energy that you actually then have the energy to do all the things that you want to do, you know? Right, right. Yeah. And be, like you said, I mean, it's a hormone thing, right? And when we've got all these really? hormones raging yeah. through our body at, when they're not supposed to be, then you've got these other processes that start kicking in. So for that woman who says, I, if I can push this off later, <laughs> she would be a good person. <laughs> so, so you talked about some signs. I heard you say some, like, you know, you're tired all the time. Maybe you're starting to experience some menopause things mm-hmm. uh, from your own story. I heard, you know, you're starting to put on weight and kind of not really understanding why. Yeah, exactly. Are there any other like, you know, signs that someone, you know, should or could be looking for that would be like, hey, maybe I, maybe this is for me and I'm, I, I'm toxic and I need to do something. Yeah, well, well, like I said, um, if just generally not feeling like your old self. So not feeling really tired when you wake up. Oh, not sleeping well, ah. um, diminished sex drive um I mean just just like your if your body is not operating at its maximum potential this is something that will always help you and also know like doing it in the spring is actually the best time to do it because that's Mm -hmm. when your body naturally um, has the tendency to start burning fat instead of sugar because it's getting rid of the fat that you stored for the winter. Mm-hmm. So um, if you give it that extra boost, then you have just like, it's, it's. I love that, which is why this yeah. is perfect timing that this, this episode is airing right before the month of March, right? When we start yeah, going totally. into that spring mode. And it's really interesting. As I was listening to you talk about the different red flags, mm-hmm. every single one of those, when I have conversations with women, especially women after 40, they, I think, just accept that these are signs of aging. 
you know, right. like, this is just my new normal, right? In this chapter, this is just what my body does. And I guess I just have to kind of go along with it. Mm -hmm. But what I hear you telling us is no, that's actually not normal. Those are actually signs that something is out of balance and there is something you can do about it rather than just accepting it as aging, right? Totally. I mean, I used to have migraines all the time and I was only 40 and my, my, my joints were aching. I mean, it was just, but it was all just, it was inflammation. Right. And that was because of needing to clean out my system, Love you that. know, and there's people who say, oh, de detox is, is a bunch of baloney, but I, I think they're doing the world a great disservice by saying that because yeah. well, I'm well they may be misinformed as to what detox really is right I think you've helped yeah. us to get a healthy picture of a detox because I think there are detoxes out there that are not healthy that are stripping your body I, I of agree. nutrients that are leaving yeah. you depleted mm -hmm. and that are not really serving you know your body yeah. in the way that it should but that's not what you're talking about right and I no. love how you bring the mental together with the physical because yeah. there's such a connection piece between those two right yeah and it's also, it's really just about, you know, our modern diet is very acidic. So it's about, mm -hmm. um, you know, balancing the pH in your blood, because that is super, super important. Or, you know, people are like, oh, why do I need to detox? Because uh, my liver does that for me. It's like, well, yeah, but if you're overworking your liver, yeah. it's guess where, so far. <laughs> well, and guess where it's all getting stored, it's all getting stored in your fat cells. So mm -hmm. your fat is not just fat, it's like a toxic waste dump. <laughs> I, mean, I like to say fat is the bubble wrap, right? It like holds all the toxins and then it keeps the toxins from, you know, affecting your main organs, right? Well, exactly. bubble wrap is great if you're sending something in the mail and you don't want it to break in the box, <laughs> but not what you want to be, you know, putting around your systems in your body. And, you know, it's interesting because when you listed in the beginning, the, the substitutions that you make in the detox, mm -hmm. that's something I've been living now for nine years. And I very rarely will have the other option, right? Yeah. And when I do, it's so interesting because within a couple of bites or a few minutes, I can feel the difference, mm -hmm. right? It's like our bodies get used to that new normal. And then somebody has a birthday and so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have a little piece of cake because I wanna you know, celebrate with everybody. And I enjoy a little piece because I think planned mm -hmm. indulgences are a part of a healthy lifestyle, yeah. but I can feel the difference. And my family sometimes thinks I'm crazy. They're like, there's no way that a couple of bites makes you feel that way. But do you find that like once your body gets used to this new normal, that when you go back, you really feel that? Well, the, the funny thing is, it's not, it's not that your body's used to the new normal. It's that that stuff was doing that to you before too, but you didn't notice because didn't notice. it was happening all the time. So say yeah. for example, I had mood swings and migraines all the time. Well, guess what was causing that? Sugar. I stopped yeah. eating sugar. They were gone. Now, one day I may think, oh God, I really, really, I don't know. I want a Twix bar and I eat a tick Twix bar. Now within 15 minutes, I have a raging migraine, you know? Mm. So it's, it's not that I think people sometimes think like, oh, my body's not used to it anymore. So that's why I'm having this reaction. Mm -hmm. It's no, you're you just always noticing that it now. Right. Yeah. Because it's not noisy all the time. So you can actually notice when exactly. it's staying. I don't like this and this isn't great for me. Wow. Exactly. So I'm just thinking, you know, about someone listening right now who's thinking, wow, I mean, if I could, you know, help reduce some of these things, if I could have more energy, if I could, you know, have better joints, if I could have less headaches, I mean, I know that we can't guarantee as coaches, right? Because it's <laughs> going to be based on that person's body and about how, you know, how they do the work, but what might be like, you know, a couple of steps for someone to take if they're listening and they're thinking, okay, I'm in, but I have no idea where to start. For sure. Um, like, okay, here's a really, really good one. If you can do it, and, and I think everyone can, you just have to get yourself in the right frame of mind, is every morning, or at least say four or five times a week, get up a little bit earlier and go for a brisk 15 to 20 minute walk. Mm. And what's wonderful about this is not only does it raise your metabolism, it actually keeps you feeling energized all day. It takes away your brain fog. Brain fog is another symptom, by the way. Yes. Okay. You will, you'll think clearly the rest of the day. You'll have energy the rest of the day. And what's also cool is say, you know, certainly at 40, you've got a lot of 
issues, you know, a lot of life has happened, right? Yeah. So you, you know, you wake up in the morning and I don't know, maybe you're angry or upset or worried about something. You go for a walk, that stuff spins all around your mind. By the time you get home, it's gone. It's cleared. You have a clear head. It's, it's just as good as meditating. You know, someone asked me the other day, what one of my favorite places is. And I said, on my country road, like I love going for a walk or a run uh, you know, and just being quiet with my own thoughts and yes. just being right. Sometimes we're yes. always doing, and when you're walking, it's like you can't do anything else. If you're running, you can't do anything else. You're just being, yeah, yeah, and kind of taking in the 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 air around us. And before we started recording, we were talking about you had just gone for a couple hours out in the forest today, and I was saying that I need to do this more. I know my dogs need it too, right? So you can hold me accountable to getting this walking. <laughs> now, now that I have this, this is a, a big reason why, but. You know, when we're out in nature, like you said, our life is out of balance, right? We have drama in our families. We have financial worries and concerns. We have weight issues and health issues. We have toxic friendships and toxic thoughts. And, you know, maybe even going to a job that we don't love. Like we've got all these things in our life. And yet we go out into nature and guess what? Nature is always in balance because it works the way God created it according to the laws of nature, right? And so that can really help to bring us back to peace, right? And and not always living in that chaotic, stressed out place. So absolutely yeah. love that. Yeah. And let's see what more. Um, certainly, I, I'm sure you've all you've all heard this a million times. I'll tell you again is you know we're water, doing that, right? Drink I, mean, I water. knew that's what you were gonna say. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> so funny. I'm like, I bet she's gonna say water. Yeah, right. And um and um I think this is also now common knowledge, but um if you in the morning drink a uh, a warm cup of water with half the um, the juice of half a lemon squeezed into it, that will also raise your metabolism and flush the mucus out of your system. So that's a, a great way to start the day. And um, if you dare, if you dare, switch from coffee to green tea. I did that a few years ago. I have a cup of coffee every <laughs> once in a really great while. And usually right. I'm with a friend and I just want the experience of it, but mm-hmm. yes, it is such a great, a great way to give your body yeah. a little boost without, uh, without all the yeah. caffeine. Right. Yeah. Or well, it'll coffee, also right? help you sleep better at night. Mm. And so often, what are we putting in our coffee? A bunch of dairy and a bunch of sugar and a bunch of fat, you know, and mm-hmm. <laughs> most yep. people don't just drink it black. So, you know, yeah, so but- you've got a lot of things there. Have you ever, I, I've been uh, trying, um, it's called Dandy Blend. And so it's actually made from dandelions, but it tastes like coffee. Uh, so dandelions, you know, have a lot of great um, benefits and it kind of, so when I have that, that urge for something like that, I can just mix that up. And I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm sure somebody who's a coffee snob may really be able to tell the difference, but it gives a little bit of that, which, you know, which can help with that, that pick me up. So, so yeah. many great ideas, you know, and what I'm hearing now is like, this is really for everyone. So someone, yeah, someone who's listening right now and the sooner the better, right? Like it's never too late, but would you say like, you know, this is the kind of thing, like, don't wait, like get started on something that's, you know, on some healthier habits that are going to move you forward. Right. Absolutely. You know, whether you're doing a a full detox or not, you know, I think anyone can add the things I just mentioned and start feeling Sure. It's It's like, it's like your bank account, right? The sooner you start making deposits, the more interest you're going to build. It has a compound effect. And I love the book, the compound effect by Darren Hardy, because he talks Mm -hmm. about whether it's in our relationships or in our bank account or in our health, every choice we make is either making a deposit or a withdrawal. And over time, right, that has a compound effect. So starting something like this and saying, I'm just going to start with this one thing is great, but I love how you really walk people through the process. So tell us as we end, you know, how can people find you, get in touch with you? Because not everybody's in the Netherlands. So how do, how do we find, you know, to get, get with you and what do you have right. to offer that can help us with this journey? Um, well, I work online. So, I mean, I do one-on-one coaching. I also do tailored, um, um, like for people who are really busy and like, you know, career, family, whatever. I don't want to have to think too much because I also have mm-hmm. online programs, but I can also like tailor make things uh, for people. And um, really, you can just find me at um, yourholisticlifereset.com. Okay. And yeah, it's it's all there. If you want, I also have a free uh, book, which is mm-hmm. um, about um, how to have um, 
less stress. So just some tips on how to have less stress. So you can, you can have that for free. And is that or, on your website? It's on my website and okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a link to it. And certainly if anyone wants to talk more, know more, I offer free, you can have a virtual green tea with me. And right. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Well, we will put yeah. the link to your website and to that, that book um, in the show notes. So that way, if you're listening and you're doing something else, like I typically do when I'm listening, you can circle back and you can grab that and get in touch with Pavan and, and see the, the resources that she, that she offers and, you know, and start your journey, right? Start this and say, I want a healthier version of me so that I can better live out what, you know, what God's given me to do like that. I'm super passionate about that. Yes. And I love how this ties into an event that I'm actually doing the week that this is coming out. Uh, because I, when you talked about, you know, so much toxicity is going on, not just in our body, but also in our mind, it's been the month of February. So we're thinking about love. And yet I find a lot of women have a hard time loving themselves, right? Mm -hmm. And I, the number one blocker for women, I believe is self-sabotage, right? Mm -hmm. We get in our own way and undo, we may be making progress. Even I've talked to people who've like lost a bunch of weight, then got in their own way and like put it all back on again and then some, right? Mm -hmm. And so on this event, we're going to be, it's called All You Need Is Love. We're going to be talking about how do you remove self-sabotage? Because like, just like any toxin, right? We do not want it in our system, in our head, how do we include more self-love uh, and how do we create a right self-identity? Because that's really where that comes from so that we are looking at ourselves from that right place. So if you're interested, I will stick the link to that down in the comments as well. It's a free event. So you can RSVP to either join us live or to get the replay as long as you're on that list. So that's thank so you awesome. <laughs> so much for sharing your expertise and your wisdom. And, you know, I just love what you're doing because you're really giving people their life back. Right. Mm -hmm. And I am a true believer in, we all have been created for greatness and a purpose, but if our health is an issue, we're going to be really distracted and, and not able to live out, you know, our purpose and what we're called to do. So, so key how you are serving others. Anything else you want to say to our listeners today before we go? Um, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> you know if there's anything we didn't, you know, that you thought, oh gosh, I wish I would have said this, you know, if not, I think we covered a lot. Sure. Yeah, we covered a lot. Well, it's it is February, and traditionally in ancient Rome, February is the month of uh, clearing mm. and um, purifying. And uh, so, um, yeah, even if you try it for seven days, I have a seven day energy reset. You know, for little people who want a little taste, right? You know, give it a try. Yeah, something is always better than nothing, right? And, yeah. and it's interesting once you start noticing the difference you feel you're going to want more of it. Right. And so I love that giving a little taste like that. So I'm ending right now with this question, uh, because when I work with women, we talk about seven key areas of our life. And so I'm just curious, and I always ask this of my guests, which of these seven areas, if you really put your focus on in this next year would make the biggest difference for you. So here's the list. It's faith, family, friends, your field of work, your finances, your fitness, or your fun. Well, that's easy. That's easy. Um, fun. <laughs> because if you're having fun, you can't be stressed out. And um, yeah, and I, I, I don't know if any of your listeners have heard of human design, but I am a human design projector. And we are meant to have fun and learn stuff and then guide other people. And I don't have enough fun. I'm always very serious and working hard. And it's, it's time for more fun this year. I love it. I love it. That's definitely one that I'm working on as well, because <laughs> right. Sometimes we can be doing all the time and, and not take the time for that. So you've inspired me and I know you've inspired our listeners today as well. So thank you so much for being our guest today and to all of our listeners. Thank you for tuning in again. And I encourage you when you hear an episode like this and you think of that friend, that sister, that coworker, that neighbor who would really benefit from this conversation, please share this with them. Because our goal is to help as many women, women as we can to truly have, you know, what they need to be living well and being well. And, um, and that, that's really exciting to watch. So until next time, keep rethinking your priorities and we will see you soon.